decided to start this video at the end instead of at the beginning of the video. By the end of this video, we hope that you'll be able to make a 3D graph of a function and animate that function. And we're going to show you exactly how to do that. Just take a quick look at the functions. We have the first function is uh, sine of x minus h plus sine of y minus t. And then we took the opposite of that and we plotted those two. And this is what our picture ends up looking like. So here's how we did this step by step. Let me just stop for one second. So we're going to go to add graphs here. This is actually pretty easy. So add graphs, right? But when you go to add graphs, what you're going to do from your calculator is you're going to go to the menu screen right here and where it says view, hit view, and look, 3D graphing. And that's really the key part to this. The other part that's going to be really important is to know that we're going to create something called a slider later. As a matter of fact, let's create our slider right now. And the slider is the thing that makes it possible it makes it possible for us to actually to actually make our graph move. So we're going to insert slider from here. It's just in your menu. So insert slider right there. And all it's going to do is let you put it anywhere. It, this is going to be fine. Don't, don't worry about where you put it because you're going to be able to adjust it. And then what I'm going to do is I know I'm going to use one of my uh, sliders. I'm going to use the variable H. So I'm going to use H, and then I'm also going to make it go from, I don't know, uh, 1, let's do it this way, 1 to 7. Sometimes what I do is, you know what, 1 to 10 is fine. Sometimes what I do is I go from, I try to look really carefully across here to see what I can make it do, but I'm not going to do that in this case. Now what I'm going to do is the same thing one more time, and this will all make perfect sense if you'll just follow this for a second. Again, I'm going to put this slider down right here. And I'm going to call this slider T. And I'm going to, yeah, that's fine. 0 to 1, uh, 0 to 10, 1 to 10. It's all fine. I'm going to set it up so they're the same. I like it. All right. Now what I'm going to do is this. So I have these two sliders here. Now, now you'll see what I'm going to do here. The equation that I used was sine of x minus, right? And remember this h up here? This is where I'm about to use it h and you see that it made it bold didn't it plus and now I'm going to equation I'm going to use is cosine of y remember we need three dimensions y minus t somebody asked me earlier so how do you get three dimensions out of that well, we have z equals x t so right we have all three dimensions so look so far so good we have this thing all accounted for just hit enter now not very impressive yet, right? But look what you just were able to do. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to minimize this just to make it pretty. And I'm going to minimize this. Just minimize, minimize. Okay? Then I'm going to go here. I'm just going to click Menu here. And I'm going to Animate. And check this thing out. It's really cool, right? Just to give you a better picture of what we have going on here. It's this picture right here, right? There it is, there. So that's just us doing this one way, right? If you want to do this one too, you just click this one and you can make this thing animate both ways. Now you're getting lots of animation, aren't you? Okay, so there's that. Just something cool here. If you, if you put your cursor on top of the thing and right click, you can go to color and you can do like really cool stuff like what I did with this one is uh, the top is red. I'll make the bottom, I don't know, like yellow. Make sure you hit OK here. And then, hey, it didn't work. Color. Custom plot. Make this. Make this yellow. Right? And hit OK. See, that's pretty cool, right? And then all I did was this, just go back. I'm going to go ahead and enter another equation just to give this thing some contrast. And I'm just going to give the exact opposite of what I had before. So I'm going to put negative, or the opposite, of sine of x minus h, right? Plus cosine. Somebody see that I messed that up over there? Cosine of y 
minus t. If you are paying attention, I made a mistake over there. And I made it right here, didn't I? So I'm going to go back. Your calculator is so good. If you put it in wrong, it will actually tell it will actually take your print into italics. So there's that. Kind of cool, right? Going to do the same thing here. Going to go ahead and cover the one I want. Go to color again. Custom color plot. I don't know. Make the bottom not red, blue, All right, and hit OK. So now we have this thing going on. Okay, so so far so good, I think, and I think that's as much as I want to do right now. I hope you'll watch part two, because in part two I'm going to get rid of the box. I'm going to get rid of the box. I'm going to get rid of the axes. I'm going to get rid of the legend here, and I'm going to change the background color. Uh, and then in the third video, I think we're going to try to overlay it onto documents so we can make true animation. So, okay, thanks you guys. I hope it's, I hope it's worth it.